Hello everybody, welcome to episode 24 of All the Mods 9 to the Sky, uh, where we, we start playing around with Zycraft. I Yeah, it's been a while since I've played around with this mod, so I figured I'd see what the starting aspects of it is, and yeah, it's fun. Let's jump in and see how it's done. All right, let's get into this episode here, guys. I would like to actually start uh, getting into an old mod, my well, one of my favorite mods that just recently came back. Uh, it is Zycraft. That is right. I've been a fan of Zycraft for a while. And I was looking through the mod here, trying to figure out where the best starting point is. And that's get one of these interactive, because that, that's one of the massive things that I would like to get. Oh, my cat did make me a, drip stone, a couple of drip stones. Uh, and... Uh, Get into Zycraft. We're, we're going to need a few items to really get started here. Like these item forts here. Going to need chest for. The toilet that we should just at least have 128 of these in hand. Okay, so we're out of log. I really need to get uh, these added to this system, but I haven't figured out a good way to do it yet. Uh, so 128 of those. There we go. At Zycraft. That's item port. Import fluid port, but we need also this uh, key. I think that's how it's pronounced. If I'm not, leave a comment down below and tell me how it's honestly pronounced. Uh, but I would like to get like you of these item extractor. Uh, the reason why is uh, with this item extractor, we could actually speed up our ice production here. I was just trying to find the ice production. Um, there we go. Which takes a piece of blue ice and uh, an extractor, a waterlogged extractor, and it pumps out uh, ice. So that's one of the reasons why I want to get it. But to get into it, we need to take an Igneous Extruder, two buckets here. I mean, we can get away with just one, but I I'd much rather have two buckets so I can like, keep them separate. Uh, I, I was also testing out if we could speed up the production of stuff yet. Which we could, it's just I'm not sure if we should yet. All right, so now that we've got those two buckets there, uh, we're going to come down here. And uh, I'm going to set this up like so. I think we can get away with doing it this way. Um. What we'll need to do is set up an area like this, but with uh, obsidian down here, where we put the igneous extruder on. We want water bucket on one side, lava on the other side, and we get uh, 
the key that we need. Okay, so now that we have the key that we need, uh, let's see if we can make a... blue ice. All right. We can. I want to go up here, grab a water bucket. Another water bucket. Okay, and we're going to come down here where this is at. Okay, so we have 35 ice in here. Not the fastest thing in the world. Uh, we'll have that stone right there. We'll put this blue ice down. Then we'll break this spot. Then we'll place the extractor from uh, Zycraft. Right, so we'll have this extractor. We're going to get more extractors here shortly. We'll set this extractor here. Now, this isn't auto running yet because we need to waterlog. And it's going to pump ice into there at a pretty decent pace. Like it's a little bit faster than this right here. So, uh, I mean, it's got cool animations on that. And yeah. Uh, one of the other things we're going to need it to produce for us is a dripstone. Uh, dripstones are, well, very important for uh, making these extractors. So to make the dripstones uh, with it, well, I mean, are we spitting dripstones? I don't think we are, because we're not setting the right things, uh, which is gravel. Gravel through flint. So yeah, see, there we go. Uh, but we can make the dripstone block a extruder. So if we do this, use for this, and I think it's a few pages in. Uh, basalt, we can get it to produce basalt for us, which would be very useful. Blackstone as well. Uh, calcite. Like all of these other stuff that we've been missing out on uh, in our sieving farm over there. We take a pit recipe on that. We can now just look at this, which takes dripstone and water below the dripstone. Okay, and it will make pointed dripstone. So, what we can do here is uh, at functional, make a one X drawer here, set this up here. Uh, we will lock it first, then link it, then put the dripstone in. So, uh, we're going to need a water grab from the sink here. And what we need to do is right below this, put the dripstone block and below the dripstone block, uh, we can actually uh, 
cover that up. I need to open hole. Oh, wait. Alright. Uh and place the water bucket here. Dripstone block on top of that. And on top of that is where we're gonna put this extractor. Is that right? Uh dripstone. That that's what it looked like. Dripstone. Okay, it says 60 seconds, but I don't see anything here. Um... Yeah, I, I'm going to let this go for a little bit. See if we can figure this one out. But we can make dripstone. Dripstone with this. Supposed to be able to. Uh, And I mean, see, right now the ice is already dumping massively up here. So we'll soon be able to back this up and have plenty of blue ice like we're already up to five um but let's look over here at the quest books and see what else we can do with zycraft or what else we would like to do with zycraft uh we could actually make a decent storage for this. I think right now just having that one collector is what we want to do with Psycraft. Give me a moment, we'll figure out what else we're gonna do this episode and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, uh we're back. Uh one of the things I would like to get is some demon speed. And to do that, we're going to... There we go. I think I just got it. Yes, Demon Dream Seed. Uh, the reason why is I wanted to complete some of these quests here. Uh, and also, look at the smithing table. See here. This is occultism. I think next, is, uh, next episode we'll deal with occultism. Uh, but, but that is that. Now, let's see here. We need to get into some industrial foregoing. Uh, because, well, I would like a time in a bottle. So, we're just, we're just doing a little bit of odds and ends here. Time in a bottle. See if we can actually create one of these. Uh, right away. Uh, okay, so can we make netherite ingot? Do we have any ancient debris? We have one. How do we get ancient debris? We could uh, sieve it from crushed blackstone. That's an interesting choice right there. Uh, looks like yeah, just crushed blackstone. Blackstone comes from uh, racking it from black 
stone, stone, soul soil, lava, and it looks like blue ice. So what we could do here uh, is get one piece of blackstone uh, made by lava and witch water. So I think we have a thing of witch water in here. Okay, so let's turn this into bucket mode by pressing in. Let's grab this water out here. All right, bucket mode. There we go. We've got one piece of black stuff. Okay, so that's one, uh, one item down. We need soul sand, right? Or so soil. Let's look here. Uh, so soil, which is mixing barrel, uh, lava plus soul sand. Soul sand is lava and no, which water? Okay, so we have some soul sand here. Now we have soul soil, okay. Uh, we need blue ice, right? Blue ice. Okay, so there we go. We got the blue ice, and now we need a lava bucket and an uh thing from Zycraft, an extractor. All right, so now we have an extractor here. Okay, so now we need a hammer, uh, a mining hammer. So we've got us a diamond hammer. And we've got a flux hammer. All right, and a at um, power. Wait, uh, at uh, it, we need a cable. That's it. If I can spell right. All right. So now let's go over here. We're gonna set it up on this side this flux hammer okay so we're gonna have to get a hammer out of our storage so we can make sure that we get this set up right hammer all right uh we're going to there we go we're gonna set that so it goes right into there okay so now let's let's look at how we make the black zone with this okay so the extractor sets on top of the black stone okay and the soul sand right beside the soul soil right beside the extractor uh, right Recipe. Yeah. Soul soil right beside that. The lava is right beside the black stuff. So we're going to break down here. I'm going to put the extractor here. Nope. I'm going to put the extractor here. Nope. Uh, we're going to place 
this down. The black stone right below it. Uh, we're going to place the extractor here on this. On this side over here, we need the blue ice. Uh, right here, we're going to set up a little pool area for the lava. And we're going to place soul soil over top of that lava. If I'm not mistaken. That should brush that. So I don't understand why this isn't working. All right, guys, I'll be right back once I figure out how this is, uh, why these aren't working. Okay, guys, after a small little break here, I figured it out. Uh, we need to place the soul soil here. We need to place uh, the blue ice, I think, right there. The... Uh, Black stone there, and the lava we'll place there. We'll place uh, the extractor on top of that. We see those gold bars going upwards. It looks like it's actually working. What we need to do is put the flux hammer on top of it, and we'll see that we are getting black stone added at a pretty decent pace here. Uh, but we also need a sieve. Uh, I, I forgot to make a flux sieve so, and space for it. So let's do that. We'll set this side as the extract. And let's go up here, grab one of these extra sieves that we have uh, right here. Like so. And now we can do a flux div right there. Make the offer for us. We can go down here. Now, and put the flux div there with uh, us hammering this direction as well to go into this desk. But now, all we need to do is add power to this, like so. After a little bit, that's going to sieve it. It's going to crush it. Once it crushes, it's going to make the stuff. Uh, we're going to get blackstone pebbles. We're going to get a few other things from blackstone. So uh, let's see here. Let's go over to the diamond one. Uh, diamond pattern of the crushed blackstone. Uh, we're going to get ancient debris. We're going to get magma cream. Gunpowder and blackstone pebble. So uh, we're gonna need a magma cream and another thing. But we're gonna take these blackstone pebbles here and uh, like we did with the previous deep slate pebbles, we can add the blackstone pebbles to these guys. And that way. Blackstone is taken out of there, uh, and it's going to empty that out. So, give this a few minutes to get us the 
materials, we're hoping. Uh, I moved the dripstone container over just to see if that was the issue. I still don't understand what's going on with the dripstone. Uh, we'll probably have to make it manually for right now still. Uh, okay, so we get the magma cream. We can go into like a, you know what, we don't have a spare 4 four by 4 drawer right now. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, but, oh yeah, we're getting uh, that now that this is filling up full of dry ice. Thanks to Zycrab. All right. Uh, at functional. Let's open up this. Get an at functional going here. Uh, we will take a take three two two of these and. Six of these. And I need one more void. You know, so we don't back stuff up. All right, magma cream can go in there. You can get your three. Oh, uh. There you go. Uh, let's see here. Linking configuration. Configure both of those. Link both of those now. And we still haven't gotten the one thing yet. And this is producing at a decent pace. So what I will do is eat some steak. And pull open the, this. Go uh, at at my, grab the three diamond upgrades that we have in here. That can actually process whatever we have at full speed. That way, like, now let's look at this. Uh, debris, the ancient debris. What stage does this go through? those at because I would like pressure so pressure pressure becomes enriched and that makes another right scrap Wait, wait, what, what, what did I see there in just a second? Okay, so we're just waiting for this uh, uh, process. I don't think we need these in here anymore. But um, maybe one in each. All right, there we go. We got the ancient debris. So we're going to build up a bit of ancient debris as well. We've got the magma cream. We've got the ancient debris now building up here. I think this is a good wrapping up spot for uh, us learning Zycraft.
So if you guys like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead, hit that dislike. If you know how to do Zycraft a little bit better, go ahead, leave it down below. That will help me out. I will learn a little bit more and uh, we'll come back to the Zycraft extractor. Uh, but until next time, guys, y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, later, Gators.